The Cebu based shipping line, Cocoleon Shipping Lines Incorporated, will soon launch its 15th Roro passenger vessel, MV Filipinas Dubai. She will have her maiden voyage today, March 10, 2023, flying the Cebu Dubai Bohol route. And a launching ceremony will follow tomorrow, March 11, 2023, in Ubay, Bohol. The vessel started its life in Japan as the former Seto of the Shikoku Kisen Company Limited. She was launched in September 2003 and was built by Fujiwara Shipbuilding in their Imabari yard. She has an overall length of 65 meters and a breadth of 16 meters. The ship has a steel hull, with bow and stern ramps as access to her single car deck. Hence, she is classified as a roll-on and roll-off vessel. The ship has two masts and two funnels located at the starboard and port side of the vessel. The vessel design features a bulbous bow and a bow thruster for easy docking maneuverability. She has a single passenger deck with its navigational bridge located at the topmost deck of the vessel. The vessel is powered by two units of 1,300 horsepower Yanmar marine diesel engines, which make her capable of reaching cruising speeds of up to 12 to 13 knots. The vessel was acquired by Cocaleon Shipping Lines Incorporated in the middle of 2022, with its intention to serve the Cebu to Ubay, Bohol, and vice versa route, as part of its commitment to provide quality Cocaleon brand of service to the Boholanos. The vessel arrived in Cebu last November 15, 2022. After she was cleared from the required government regulatory permits, she then proceeded to Dainaka Shipyard in Danao, Cebu for her hull inspection and dry docking works. Upon completion of the said works, she then stayed in the Cebu Pier 1 area for refitting and repainting works. The MV Filipinas Ubay features a new livery, where the existing Kokalyung livery was added with the small red and blue stripes at the side of the vessel. The MV Filipina Subai has three types of accommodations. The Economy Accommodation, the Pascual Tourist, and the Casate Tourist. The accommodation inside are designed for short distance routes, where cushion seats are only available, which is different from the rest of the Kokalium fleet, where this ship does not have any overnight bed bunks on board. The economy area is an open-air seating accommodation which is located at the starboard and port side of the vessel. According to the Kokalyong website, the economy accommodation fare is priced at 400 pesos per passenger. The Pascual Tourist and Casate Tourist both have air-conditioned seating accommodation. However, the only difference is that the Pascual Tourist is located at the aft section of the vessel. While the Fasate Tourist is located at the forward midsection of the vessel. According to the Kokalyong website, both the Pascual Tourist and Fasate Tourist accommodation fare is priced at 440 pesos per passenger. Inside both tourist accommodations, there are TV monitors for the entertainment of the passengers, as well as a charging station located in the forward section of the accommodation. There is also a Japanese-style toilet for both male and female passengers located at the back portion of the accommodation. Here are the official and published cargo rates for the Cebu to Ubay Bohol and vice versa route. This new route of Kokalyong will create more connectivity for both passengers and cargo shippers within the islands of Cebu and Bohol. And at the same time, it will also provide more job opportunities to the constituents of Dubai and aims to be a catalyst to the promotion of tourism within the province of Bohol. For more details and information, visit the official Facebook page and the official website of Kokalyong Shipping Lines and book your tickets now through their accredited ticketing agents. Watch out for the upcoming FB live coverage of PSSS on the maiden voyage of MV Filipinas Ubay on our social media channels. Don't forget to follow the official Facebook and Instagram page of PSSS and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and ship-related video content. The link to our page is in the description box down below. 
We at DSSS are together with everyone in helping to bring back the glory of Philippine shipping industry.